Hi everyone. So uh, JWT is a very like you know a standard method of authentication that you must have seen across most of the applications or APIs that you are pen testing. So today we are going to uh, dive deep into what is JWT, uh, how it is constructed, what are the like you know security threats that you can look into. Uh, we'll also discuss like you know uh, the basics of the JWT and then and then follow up with the uh, the security vulnerabilities that you can look after in the JWT and how to exploit those. So first off, uh, the introduction. So JWT J JSON Web Tokens are an open industry standard RFC seven five one nine method for representing claims securely between two parties. So essentially, what it's trying to say is JWT is typically used for authentication or claiming that the party like you know authenticating the entity who is requesting to access some resources now JWTs are usually digitally signed uh, so it uses the HMAC and it can also be encrypted uh, using like you know RSA or uh, or ECDSA such as like you know public key private key encryption algorithms now there are various things uh, you would see JWT uh, probably you won't notice by like you know just observing the traffic whether this is like you know signed or encrypted but various there are various use cases and the developers use it for a, like you know in a different way sometimes it can only be signed uh, sometimes it is encrypted sometimes it is signed and then encrypted uh, which is of course the preferred order and sometimes it is encrypted and then signed which is uh, very unusual i have seen like I, I haven't come across a use case where it has to be first encrypted and then signed but usually uh, like you know these are signed and encrypted now as i said like jws are mostly used for authentication or authorization right uh, when we say authorization, uh, that's also a very critical piece because it's different. Uh, if you're trying to access some resources and, and like, you know, whether you want to verify whether this entity is an admin or a user, of course, the entity is authenticated, but you don't know whether it's allowed to access some resources, then authorization is a, is a main thing you want to look after. Now, another uh, use case I have seen is sometimes it is also used just to exchange the information, right? Because uh, this, this token is encrypted and, and hashed or signed, then there is, there is a guarantee that the information hasn't been tampered. Information hasn't been disclosed because it is encrypted and confidential. So uh, sometimes if you want to try, like, you know, send out some API key or something uh, secretly, to the user or to the customer then you would use this uh, JWT uh, like an encrypt uh, the API key or some secret key and then transfer it over and then they use it uh, decrypt it and, and, and use it right let's take a look at the uh, JWT workflow so first of all there is a login page or, or like you know login API where user authenticates now server will create a JWT we'll, we'll see later in the in the session that how the JWT is created by the server but then server returns the JWT and that is stored locally and never stored in the server right this is very key point it's not it's different than our regular cookie authentication where cookie is also like you know stored on the server side this is always stored on on the locally and never stored on the server now when whenever user tries to access some protected resources let's say uh, like you know some key documents then they send this JWT uh, server, uh, server uh, like you know, decodes it, verifies the signature, and then makes uh, make sure that okay, this JWT or this entity, whoever is mentioning the payload, has access to the resources. Now, one thing is when the user logs out, and this is like you know, very standard vulnerability you would see probably on all the pen tests that you would do. When the user logs out, and if they are using a JWT session for authentication there is no way JWT just expire like you know uh, you can invalidate there is a time period mentioned on the token uh, like when it is uh, valid and when it's going to be expired but that's about it it, it you can never see when uh, like you know how to invalidate so sometime uh, the vulnerability could be if let's say uh, the token remains active for more than a day in some use cases or maybe more than a couple days then it's a security issue like you don't want some critical applications like banking or healthcare uh, where the token remains active for for this longer and sometime it can stay like you know uh, valid for like a year or something uh, depending on the application so maybe you want to pay attention to what is the validity 
now then it will validate uh, JWT before granting the access server will do that and JWT are self-contained and has all the necessary info no need to go back and forth right so as I said like in the payload it contains all the information that's needed uh, for server to authenticate the user or authorize the user so it has all the all the data now if you look at it in a graphical way so here client will send post authenticate with the user and password validate the user and password generate the JWT key by the server server returns here in the client client saves it somewhere in the storage like browser storage then it calls like get data with JWT in the header validate using the secret key and then return the response now JWT schema is made up of three part first part is header uh, header has typically token type which is in our case JWT then the algorithm which is used so HMAP, HMAT, SHA or RSA uh, then the second part is payload uh, payload contains the claims uh, and claims are statements about the user so for example if 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 I wanna uh, if like you know I authenticate it with my server then it will have my name and my user ID or, or whatever the entity that I, like you know that authenticates me and then lastly it has a signature so of course signature is the combination of the header payload and the algorithm and then everything is signed it we'll also see practical example on how this is works but yeah this is how the signature is created so this is how in example you will see and, and everything is encoded uh, via like you know appended with the dot so first part a is the header b is the payload and, and x is the signature now if you look at the header example uh, it is uh, so this is like an algorithm where it says HS256 and uh, the type of the token is the JWT this is what you would typically see in the header and then this is base64 encoded uh, to form the first part of the JWT so you can easily decode it right all the you can find base64 decoder online or you can also find it in the in the box or, or some other other uh, like in a proxy as well now this is the uh, payload example this is where all the critical information uh, lies so here you have the subject uh, sometimes it also has the expiry issuer all sort of information there are various registered uh, uh, I guess registered claims uh, or registered properties that they can use or sometimes you have like you know just uh, like customized field as well but typically you have subject name and IAT and and this will uh, determine who is this token for what is the subject and when it's going to expire of course this is also going to be base 64 encoded now one thing you must want to consider is if you can ever find uh, when you're doing the code review or or token if you ever find this token contains the secret data uh, then that's an obvious security vulnerability uh, unless it is encrypted right uh, if you can if you can see it uh, by just decoding it then that's not a uh, because encoding is not an encryption and then lastly it is uh, like you know si uh, signed it so how does it sign so you will encode base64 the header then append the payload and everything is going to be uh, hashed with the HMAC SHA-256 and the signature is used that message hasn't said right like that's where we use the hashing for and verifies the sender of the JWT now let's take a look at an example of uh, of the JWT and how it works so first of all this is like you know a standard uh, JWT.io where you can see here this is the encoded uh, token which is you you would usually see for any application here is the three part that we just talked about uh, header payload and uh, verify signature now as you can see here uh, whenever let's say if we put John from John to uh, Paul for example you will see the payload being changed here same thing here like uh, let's say we want to put uh, signature as my secret right and you would see that this is also being changed here so this is like you know uh, this is optional of course uh, but sometimes users use it and sometimes does not now let's take another example see here if you see how the signature is verified right so let's say we got this JWT token 
and we put it here now it says signature is invalid now if you go back here right uh, where this this user has uh, created the JWT token if you see in the signature uh, it has just used the header and the payload it hasn't put any any secret and if you see in our example we have like you know my secret so if you remove it now it says signature is verified uh, and here I think there is also good information on what are the registered JWT claims that I was talking about so as, you, as I saw as I told you earlier so it is issuer you can put the subject you can put the audience when the expiry not before issued at time uh, and then JWT ID claim provides so this is very rare but yeah you could you could use any of this you can also use some public and you can also create your own uh, claims and then you can also put it uh, maybe for information exchange so this is like you know uh, you can play around and, and create uh, your JWT there are also a lot of guidance on like you know OWASP as well on the security cheat series which you can use and all of this will be helpful for you to understand how the uh, JWT is constructed. In the next session, I want to cover some critical JWT related security vulnerabilities, uh, which we can uh, definitely like, you know, you can use and exploit. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions about the JWT, please feel free to put it down in the comment section. Any other questions also, please reach out to me. Uh, thank you for your time and have a great day.